Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. Before we move on with this video, I would like to request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, your subscription, your likes and shares will really boost me to create more and more videos on UiPath. So please do subscribe my channel and if you like, please give a like and if you want to share with your friends, please do it. So let us move on with the studio with this video and in this video I am going to uh, show a simple demo on the usage of modern activities. So you might be aware of the modern activities in UiPath Studio. So in this video we are going to use uh, simple basic activities from modern UI automation. So for that uh, we have to download this double UI. This is an application which is provided by UiPath. So if you are not aware of this, I can give you this link in the description box of the video. So please download this. So this is a simple application which is developed by UiPath for our learning purpose. So what we are going to do with this in this uh, video is we are going to give some cash in value and honest check value. Then click on accept so that it will generate a transaction number capture the transaction number and uh, display through a message box that's it so we are very familiar with the classic activities to do this basic uh, uh, kind of uh, automations but now let us see the same through modern activities so quickly move on to UiPath studio so let us have the new uh, activity that is modern activity which is nothing but use application or browser so earlier we used to have the attach or open browser right so this is a replacement of it which comes in modern activities if you are not able to see this if you are not able to find this use application or browser activities you are prob probably you are supposed to change the setting of your project to modern to say this here under activities you can see this filter view options click on show modern okay this is one way or go to your project use the settings project settings and here modern design experience that's it for this project it will uh, show both classic and modern activities so this is a way how to shift from classic to modern that's it so now now that we have already taken use application or browser now we are supposed to indicate the application on which we are going to automate so use this and select the application that's it so it is automatically loading giving the path of this application which is uh, which is into in your local machine so that is all about the use application or browser activity so remember when you are running this project if you use this use application or browser no need to open the application before you run this uh, uh, bot, before you run this code. It will automatically open this. That's it. Because we have given this path. Now what we are going to do, we are supposed to give some value in cash in and give some value in this check, honest check. So this, for this we need to have type in key type into indicate in the app so it is automatically giving suggesting this is the application name so click on indicate in app select so if you see here selection option it is uh, showing hover over the element you want to indicate and click it to select it if the element is not being detected 
highlight it try changing the ui framework okay so now that i am selecting this it is automatically giving the target target is nothing but the ui element on which you are going to automate right so when i click this it will automatically selecting but i want uh, an anchor also so if you see here anchor also been automatically selected and it will give an option to uh, to add few more anchors so if for example i want one more anchor i want one more anchor so it is always good to have more anchors if you really need it based on the automation based on the application where you are automated for now i don't want this so i can delete this i can delete this so i'm sure that this cache in anchor will work fine so if we on on selecting this target you can see here and selection options automatically it has taken the target selector fuzzy selector and you can see the anchor to anchor right so once you are uh, fine with this you can use confirm so that it will move move the same selection to your studio that's it so now that you are you have your target ready you are supposed to enter some value into your target so give a value there are different options to enter here so directly you can give the value here or this is one option or you can right click use open editor and give the value click on ok or you already know this right control k will automatically create a variable and in that variable you can pass the value so the, these many options are there to pass the value to your target using type into activity right so now let me give a value here just for demo so i'm just giving some random value that's it so next i'm supposed to use click activity to click on the accept button so use the indicate and go to this accept now on click of this it will generate automatic target selector fuzzy selector image and then anchor so if you see here anchor it is showing as accept so i am done with this so i am confirming this now at any point of time we can go back and we can edit okay we can go back and we can edit the options indicate target on screen so again we can go back and reconfirm the or or recapture the target options okay this way okay so now now i have given some value here into this cache in and then i am clicking on accept forget about this uh, the other uh, two options after cash in say for example this on honors check not honors check so for now i'm clicking on accept when i click on accept it is automatically cre cre uh, creating a transaction number now i need to read this transaction number for that let us use get text get text same way give the target select the target here click enter it will automatically give the strict selector and fuzzy selector but if you see here it is giving some warning no anchor automatically found now it's your turn to create an anchor right so since that transaction number is very near to this and i feel that this is this can work as an anchor to this target so i think this is fine now i'm confirming this that's it 
Now, I am reading this value, but in order to use that value, I need to store it into a variable, right? So, control K, then give the transaction number. So, this value is going to store into the transaction number. Now, let us use a message box, a dialog box to get this. Hey, the transaction number is... That's it. So let us run this now. Before I run, I just want to show this. I am closing this. It, it has to automatically open this. Now let us see. That's it. So it has opened the UI path WI application it has entered the value and it clicked on accept and it read the transaction number which is nothing but 897477 that's it let me tell you one more thing here uh, if, if you select this any of these activities you could see different target selectors which been selected right say for example strict selector fuzzy selector and then anchor and image all these right so many are there in this modern activities in the properties so while executing this it will check for the selector strict selector if if it is not confident enough about the ui element it will automatically consider the fuzzy selector and automatically considers the anchor and then automatically goes to the image so based on the confidence level or based on the accuracy rate it will decide and it will give a prompt ui element as the output so that way the modern or uh, modern activities help us help our uh, uh, automation to give accurate ui element as the output so that's it for today's video I hope you got the uh, difference between the classic activities and the modern activities and a simple demo on how to use the activities in modern UI automation. So if you like this video, please do subscribe our channel, give a like and then share, you, share the same video with your friends and colleagues. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.